not believe how many statues hit this table last month. In fact, I think it was a record. Speaking of records, have you ever like been with someone of the opposite gender and they tell you like, you're the biggest I've ever had and then like months into the relationship, they're like, yeah, I was just saying that. Yeah, me neither. As the Extreme channel is pushing towards 50,000 subscribers, these are just a few of the statues we are giving away on the journey there. If you want to know how to win one, stay tuned for later in the video. Hey, welcome to the Extreme channel. My name is Mr. X and we talk about extreme collectibles here, we talk about extreme lifestyle, and that's what this episode is. Extreme expos or exhibitions. We talk about the really exciting things that happened in the previous month. We're closing out March 2023 and we're moving into April 2023. We follow this regimented format about the best statues that arrived last month, what I practiced hashtag restraint on I didn't buy, and then what I did buy, and then all the stuff to look forward to in the upcoming month. You get all that? So let's start with my favorite statues that arrived in March 2023. It was so incredibly difficult to decide which was the best because I got zero statues in March of 2023. Come on, don't bullshit me. Never happened to me before. Now, if you're a follower of the channel, you probably know that because I put out some really different content. I still try and deliver content every other day for you guys. And to be honest with you, most statue reviews don't do so well anymore. People like to talk about collectibles. They like to hear my thoughts on that. And we did some other off the wall stuff. Yeah, zero statues arrived. I am finally moving towards retirement. And the best part is I really didn't miss it too much. We did continue to sell off a whole bunch and a whole bunch more coming. So go back and check out some of those videos on hints of what is to come. But there were some statues that I pre-ordered or bought, and some I wouldn't consider a statue. So let's talk about that one first. I did buy this Robeson Optimus Prime and trailer that actually transforms by itself. It is absolutely amazing. I've already done review videos on that. You can go and check those out. I also ended up buying the last piece I didn't have from Prime One Studios Dark Knight Metal Line, The Drowned. So I wasn't really keen on the statue. I've even seen it in person. However, I read the entire omnibus and I really liked the character and I figured, hey, it's the last one I'm missing from the line. Let's go ahead and grab this. A side note, if you read the omnibus, did you notice they didn't even talk about Grim Knight Batman in there? That was really weird to me. If you didn't read it, you have no idea what I'm talking about. So the other one I bought is Prime One Studios revealed their Berserker Predator. So I have the first two they've revealed coming the Jungle Hunter, which should be here in the next month or so, as well as the City Predator, which is later this year or next year, I believe. But I wanted to get this. I always thought this was a pretty badass looking Predator, despite the fact that I don't think the movie was amazing. It was entertaining, sure, and not as bad as some other Predator movies. But that's it. So just two statues, because the toy doesn't really count. And I stayed so incredibly busy, I really didn't have time to check out some other stuff. I was traveling for work, in the, traveling with my family for almost two weeks, and just getting shit done. The one statue I almost bought was this King Venom. It's a custom statue, and it went up for PO, and I put my name in the hat, and then I was told it was sold out, so I probably shouldn't have been asked to put my name in the hat. But it's all right, it saves me a lot of money because it was way overpriced, although it does look amazing. So with that being said, that's the only hashtag restraint one I actually had this month, and it wasn't even by choice, it was hashtag restraint. You know, and I get a lot of shit when people are like, how's retirement going? And some people are just curious, but I do get a lot of shit. It's going pretty well, actually. If you caught a video I did last month, I actually talked about what I'm doing with all these extra funds from not only selling, but not buying a bunch of the statues like I used to. Go ahead and check out that video. So while I went through some slight withdrawals of collectibles arriving last month, the good news is, there are a ton that will hopefully come in April 2023. These are all scheduled to ship or I already have tracking on them. The bad news is, once again, I'm traveling all month. Unfortunately, it's nothing fun at all, but I'm still gonna have a ton of content of these statues for everybody here. Members of the Extreme channel, if you wanna know what that's about, check out the behind the scenes link or hit that join button. They have early access, so they know like even this video right here, is actually filmed two weeks early. I'm gone for the rest of the month, so all these will truly be April arrivals, even if they arrive before then. But let's start that custom Hulk, the kit, this giant one was finally delivered. It was delivered to the painter. He has it. He started on it already. Here are some pictures that he actually sent to me. His words to me were, I cannot believe how big this is. That's what she said. <laughs> King Shark is overdue. He was supposed to be here, so I'm really excited. I know some other collectors have already received him. He's going to look great with my DC quarter scale villains. That custom wing Venom, that also shipped as well. Big old shipping price on that. And again, collectors, more so in Asia, have already started receiving him. 
I am pretty confident that'll be here in April. And I paid the shipping on the Venomized Batman. So this one is going to upset some people, some DC fanboys, some Marvel fanboys. But if you can look past that and just say, hey, this is fucking awesome, you will love it. This next one's going to be fucking awesome too. Life-size Balrog. So as of right now, I don't have a date on this because the Todd Father is coming here to unbox it with me. We're going to do some other stuff, possibly a giveaway. Probably a giveaway. Faux show a giveaway. But this we're going to unbox together and set up. This custom surfer finally shipped as well. I told you about that. I thought it might arrive in March, but it obviously didn't before this video. So it's coming in April, and it's already in hands in a few collectors who absolutely love it. The Hand of God from Berserk, my final Berserk piece, at least for now, is on route. Can't wait to get this. I know it's been out for a while, but I still look forward to doing a review. The next few I talked about last month, these are from Comic Concepts. He said, I'm going to pummel you with statues, so give me $20,000. So that includes Prime One Studios' Red Death. Going to finish out the uh, line here. Dawnbreaker, at least for what they have released. The Metal Superman. These are all from the Dark Knight storyline. So if you're unfamiliar with what that is, make sure to stay tuned for these reviews. My Jungle Hunter Predator, I think, is coming next month. This is the Deluxe. And everyone says, best statue made. I don't know if it is, but it looks badass. The Justice Buster, for sure, is coming in April. Prime One Snyder Cut Dark Side Deluxe is also with that shipment. Then some Queen Studio pieces. Finally, the Batman on Throne did ship. It's uh, via C, shipped in March, so it should arrive in April. Then I'm still waiting on the Life Size Spider-Man. It is ready to ship, so it should be here soon. And they are now ready to ship the Mark 85. And the crazy thing about this, we're not even halfway through. And see, that excites you, but when I say it to Mrs. X, she actually kind of groans. Next, this Venom has shipped as well. I have tracking on it. It's really dynamic. It's actually after a cover. I have the cover for it, so I'll show you guys that source material and the review when it comes. Another really rare Venom is coming. Not only is there only 20 of these, I believe, but they are all professionally painted. So this is shipping in April as well. That T-Studio Mario piece didn't show up yet. So uh, I do have tracking and it has been moving for the last 30 days. C shipping takes about 30 days lately. So it'll probably arrive before this video launches, but it'll be an April review for you. Prime One Studios Punchline. You guys know this was shipped last month. So same scenario as I said before. Very excited to get this piece. Also Iron Studios is sending me their Harley Quinn. Very excited to compare this to some of the Prime One Studio pieces. And of studio sending me stuff, Pure Arts is sending me their T-1000 bust, which I'm really excited because I actually own their T-800 and I think it's phenomenal. Going to review that for you. Some XM pieces scheduled to release in Q1 and now it's Q2, so that is the Super Scroll, which if you're a followed channel, you know I recently reviewed a custom, so I'm going to do an Extrumble, a video uh, where we compare those two. Their Maestro. One of probably my biggest and most expensive statues, most anticipated. I wonder what will be bigger, this one or that custom Hulk. We should put them on the table together, but I think the total weight is going to be like 400 pounds, so maybe I don't want to do that. And last but certainly not least, Prime One Wonder Woman vs. Hydra. You know, I'm really excited. If you might have seen, I sold some one-third DC pieces. So the way I have it laid out now with Dark Knights, with Hush Stuff, Justice League, Batman Villains, it looks awesome because that's the other big announcement. After Todd Father helps me unbox that, I'm going to do a room tour, a long-awaited room tour. I've told you almost everything other than the X-Men wall and I think the Silver Surfer wall have changed. So I'm really excited to show you guys that. There were some peaks in this video right here, what statues I may or may not sell for the rest of the year. But if you guys could help me out, number one, just like the video. It really helps the channel. Two, throw a comment down. Not only will you potentially win a statue, we're really close to 30,000 subs. But let me know what kind of content you like the best out of this channel. That will really help me. I like doing what I'm passionate about. Oh, but YouTube doesn't allow things that are rated past. Well, I guess the, I don't know. They allow some pretty risky shit. But throw that down in the comments. I love to read your comments. I love to interact with you. Now it's time. Roll the clip. We will be giving all of these statues away, plus additional ones, at every 5,000 subscriber milestone. To win one of these statues, all you have to do is make sure you've liked this video, you've subscribed to the channel, you've hit that bell notification, and then just drop a comment below. 
Every 5,000 subscriber milestone, we are going to do a random drawing and pick a random comment and give one of these statues away, plus some additional ones I'm not showing right now. The more videos you comment on, the higher your chances are to win. Hey, once again, deep thank you to me. I really appreciate you guys watching. A lot to look forward to this month, so make sure you're subbed to the channel and you hit the bell notification so you don't miss any of those videos on those awesome collectibles. And then we got some really exciting stuff happening in May as well. So stay tuned. I hope you're doing well. Take care of yourself.